a pattern review as part of my first piece as part of my spring to summer transitional wardrobe yes 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 you guys know i said i will be doing that so your girl is back on the sewing bandwagon after almost a whole month off all right so if that's some content you would like to see please continue to watch Hey everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I am going to be giving you guys a quick pattern review to the most recent item that I created which was Simplicity 9707. Yes, it is a button down shirt or a button down dress but this is not part of my battle of the shirt dress which is still going on and you guys will be seeing that pretty soon. You'll have a whole month of seeing me in battle of the shirt dress. All right, so it's coming up to the channel. But in this video, we're gonna be talking about that first piece as part of my spring to summer, my transitional from spring to summer wardrobe that I am doing right now, all right? So if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, wagwan, bonjour. If you are returning, you know what to do. Go get you a quick snack, something to drink. Come on back so we could go ahead and get into this pattern review. So without further ado, and to keep it short, sweet, and to the point, just like you like it, let's go ahead and get right on into it, starting with the pattern description. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the pattern description. So this pattern, first of all, is Simplicity 9707. I'm gonna say that Brittany J. Jones have a complete Fabulous, so along for this pattern. So don't ask me to do one because she already have one. You're welcome, right? <laughs> All right, so this pattern description is basically, it's a missus, easy to sew, button down shirt. You could either do it in a button down shirt or you could do it in a button down dress, all right? It also has a yoke, it has a collar, and it does have, it does have cuffs. Now I have rolled up my cuffs, but it's some cuffs there, all right? And a cuff. All right, so view A and view C, you also have side seam pockets. Now me personally, I left off the pockets simply because I wanted this as a just a regular button down shirt, kind of like a classic button down shirt in a different color versus a shirt dress. So I did not put the pockets on mine. All right, so that is the pattern description for this easy to sew pattern, all right? Let's go ahead and talk about the skill level. So the skill level for this pattern, I just mentioned it, is easy to sew. Do I feel it's easy to sew? Yes, it is easy to sew and it's rated as easy, but I will definitely say if you have never done buttons, it can be an intermediate. I would say this pattern is more of your intermediate beginners, all right? But I will say that just make sure you read how to do buttonholes on your machine. Practice, practice, practice. And you know, you guys have heard it several times when you was younger, practice make perfect. So practice, don't be scared of a zipper, don't be scared of button, don't be scared of all of these different things that trips you up and you're like, oh, I'm scared to do this, I'm scared to do that. Listen, we all fail, we fall down and what we do, we get back up. So when you fall down, you gotta get back up and get back on that horse and just do it, all right? Just do it like Nike, all right? Just do it, that's it. Let's go ahead and get into Notion use. All right, so the Notions used for this pattern, I can't remember how many buttons, but all you need as far as Notions is interfacing and buttons. I'll put how many buttons you need for this pattern because I don't have the pattern in my hand, all right? So let's talk about fabric use. So for the fabric use for this pattern, it's just basically some broadcloth fabric that I used from Joey. And I think this was probably $2.99 a yard or whatnot. And I picked up three yards of this fabric. I really did not have much left. It was just like a little bit left. So I would say that I actually used two and five eighths yards of fabric in order to create this classic light blue fabric. So for the fabric name is Symphony. Symphony broadcloth from Joann's and it's in the color sky blue. I'll go ahead and put it up on the screen if you are interested as well as in the description box below. All right, let's talk about pattern pieces. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and put it up on the screen so you can see this. But for the pattern pieces, you will need a total of, I believe it was eight pattern pieces. So pattern piece one, your front, pattern piece two, your back, pattern piece number four, which is your back yoke, 
Pattern piece number five, your collar. Pattern piece number six, your sleeve. Seven, your cuff. Eight, your buttonhole guy and then guide. And number nine is your upper pocket if you choose to do the upper pocket. Now, I'm just gonna tell you, I did view A, but I left off the pockets on the side. The side seam pockets, I left that off. I didn't feel like I needed the, that, so I did not uh, do that at all, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about pattern sizing. So for this pattern, it comes in, I believe two different envelopes. So the first envelope that you have is size four to 12 and then 12 to 20 on the pattern envelope. The size that I cut for this pattern was a size, I think it was a size 16. I think it's the size that I cut or maybe it was a 14. Let me check. For this pattern, I cut a size 12 on the pattern. Um, and it's different because normally for simplicity patterns, I don't cut anything less than like a 14. But on this pattern, it, it, it does have a lot of room. So it is roomy. It has a lot of ease. And I cut a size 12 for this pattern. All right. Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications to this pattern? Absolutely not. I did not make any modifications outside of the mod the regular modifications I always make and it's pretty much towards the hips. But outside of that, I did not make any modifications to this pattern. Let's talk about did it look like the pattern or the photos on the pattern envelope? Yes, it does. I though so let me say this. I completely forgot to take the handbag outside. I was taking photos First thing in the morning before going to work, I wore this to work today, yes, and got so many compliments on the color. So the bag that I was going to be putting with this, you guys will see in some upcoming footage when I show you guys all the different ways that you can wear it. I'm just showing you one for today because I want to have a grand finale where you will see the other photos that I took in this top, all right? So I did take more than one pose, but you're only gonna uh, see one look today, all right? <laughs> so let's talk about likes and dislikes. Uh, let's start with dislikes. I don't have any dislikes for this pattern at all. Everything about this pattern is nothing but pure love. I mean, the instructions, Let's speaking of which, let's talk about are the instructions easy to follow? Yes, they are. But if you follow Brittany J. Jones' tutorial, you wouldn't need the instructions. Just do one of these. Toss the instructions. All right, just do that. All right. You're not gonna need it because Brittany J. Jones is fabulous and very thorough with her instructions. All right, just so you know. Go and check out that video, her um, sew along, if you are planning on making this pattern. Thank me later, all right? First time experiences. I don't have any first time experience. I have done so many button down shirts. And if you don't know, you're gonna know now, I love a good classic button down shirt. I literally could do a whole series on button down shirts. But because I have so many in my closet and all I need to do is put it in solid colors, I don't need to, all right? But I do like a classic button down shirt, all right? Um, would I recommend this pattern to others? Absolutely. I would say that if you look in to do kind of like a classic button down shirt, not so many pattern pieces, but you want a classic, this pattern is a good pattern to do because it's still in the Joann's as well. Also, let's talk about my pattern rating. So for this pattern, I'm going to give this pattern a five out of five. I love this pattern. I could see like, I know I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna sew it again. Yes, would I sew it again? Absolutely. Um, and I'm gonna sew this pattern in so many different colors as well, simply because I really enjoyed the process. Some people probably just don't like doing buttonholes or cuffs or anything like that. But let me tell you something, practice. Just practice doing them. And one thing is with a classic button down shirt, you could tuck it in, you could put it out, you could throw it with a skirt, you could throw it, you could put a uh, blazer over it. There's so many different ways that you can wear a classic button down shirt. All right, so that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed this pattern review. Sit down with you guys on my experience sewing it up. I hope you enjoyed. And since you made it this far, do not forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. 
So thank you so much for watching. Until next time, keep sewing. Where's the Vinci? They're picking sides, they're crossing the line. I stick to the truth. I'm